December 7th, 2023. Avatar Frontiers of Pandora are, is coming out. They recently released two new trailers and oh my god, I'm so excited, dude. I'm so excited for this game. It's got me pumped because when the first trailer came out in 2021, I was like, I was like, all right, okay. I've, okay, I've literally played Avatar, the game, Dave, uh, James Cameron, whatever the heck that game is called. Don't play it, it's bad. So I thought, oh, this game is just gonna be the same, but it's not, it looks like it actually isn't. They're actually doing the world and stuff. First of all, in the trailer, the music, it sounds so good, bro. Y más al oeste, el misterioso bosque nublado, donde envuelto en la niebla, Nada es lo que parece. Aquí viven los Kametire, un clan de... This is what I wanted the music in Avatar 2 to sound like. Spoiler alert, guys. If you're on the 10% of people who are watching this that actually like Avatar, there's a good chance that you liked Avatar 2 and then you got into the fandom because you liked Avatar 2. I was, I'm an OG. I've been here from the beginning. I have liked the first one and 2 was bad. I'm sorry. You can argue in the comics, it's just, it's a bad movie, okay? Three hours of dog shits. And one of the things was the music was not good. They reused a lot of stuff. I know the guy who made it died, and so he couldn't do it, but it was still bad. Anyway, point is, is that the music is banging, dude. It's banging. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to play a game just for the music, but there's some other things that are really cool. So the plot as well seems like really like it's a it, it's a plot that makes sense because basically in one of the other outposts in Avatar, the humans stole some Navi children and then try to train them up to like turn them against them, turn them against the uh, their people. So when the humans had to leave at the end of Avatar 2, um, they were just gonna kill the children, but then there was like another Navi teacher Someone saved them and put them to sleep. That's probably the most ridiculous thing that they were like We'll just put you to sleep. We'll be fine. We won't release you just yet. We gotta put you to sleep first But it's fine. It works. And so they wake up like 15 years later and everything's epic and cool um, I do have to say that I'm so glad that we're hopefully not gonna see them doing the little thing because the logo on those shirts is so fucking ugly. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Whoever uh, uh, whoever made this, it looks garbage. I think the main things to be excited about is we're going to be able to ride dragons and stuff. That's going to be Liddy. And we're going to be able to customize them. And that's going to be really fun. And you also can ride horses. But here's the thing I'm excited about. That's what I tell people to like try to convince them that it's going to be a cool game. There is grasslands in this game you don't understand now hold on you're like ruffy the fuck you talking about this there's grasslands because there was grasslands in avatar one and it was so bland there was two like places we saw that was we saw grasslands and then we also saw people who lived on like sea cliffs which were cool those were cool um but the grasslands was just like a tent in just the flattest land possible clearly they didn't have like it was like a two second scene of course they're not gonna make it all epic and so but there's grasslands in this game and it looks stunning it looks amazing i'm so fucking excited dude and like the reason why i'm so excited as well is because the grasslands is where the horses are dude and like dragons are cool and all but we i'm a horse gamer okay the avatar horses are in this place and you get to ride around and i'm just so glad they made the grasslands look really cool because i was really I, i've been waiting for us to see grasslands in an avatar thing like i was hoping avatar 3 they might go to the grassland place <laughs> I just, I don't know, I just wanted the horse people to have some content, but we finally have it! It's so exciting, and there's so many cool, like, oh, it looks so good, it looks so good. And if I wasn't excited enough for that, there's a new biome. Hold your socks on this, guys. Hold your socks. It's, like, an evergreen forest, and it looks like this. I tried to explain what you're watching, what you're looking right now to a friend, and I was like, there's, like, there's trees and they do this and they're like just send me a photo and i was like okay all right i'll do that <laughs> but this place is so fucking cool oh my god 
Oh my god, I literally, ages ago, I made an edit of Alicia online where I like made the ranch look like it was in a place that looks like this. I fucking, I kill for an evergreen forest. These things are so cool. And they're, they, the trees go like this. Oh my god, it's so cool. And we've never seen this before, but like there's a lot of cool new creatures and stuff. And like in each place, there's like a Navi, um, tribe you get to talk to oh my god i'm so fucking excited for this game dude and i really don't want to be super super excited the last time i was this excited for a game was cyberpunk 277 and we saw how that went and like y'all gamers know that a lot of games are coming out these days and they're just dog shit and like they're just not very good and so it's best just to not get your hopes up and then play a game on release and then make a decision but like um, it, I know, I know this in my brain, but I'm so fucking excited to run through Avatar. You don't understand. I love this movie so much. I watch Avatar 1 and it makes me want to go do shit. I just get so excited and like, uh, you know how hard it is to get people to watch Avatar with you? No one wants to watch the blue people. The blue people, they look funny. They look weird. Oh, oh my god. god. Anyway, if you're excited for this game, let me know in the comments below and what part you're excited about the most. Um, I think the combat's hopefully going to be really nice. The running around Pandora. Is, yeah, that's all I'm going to do. <laughs> Just run around Pandora. Because <laughs> it looks so pretty. I'm so fucking hyped. And, like, I'm praying to every single god around that it is not a buggy mess when it comes out. Because, like, it already has a release date for December. Which is a little worrying because <laughs> a lot of times when big games have release dates... They just push their devs in order to pump it out, and it's usually a hot mess. So, we'll see how that goes. Uh, I, please pray for this game to be good, because I really, really, really want it to be good. For my mental health, this game has to be good. If I have another Cyberpunk 2077, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm walking away, I'm so upset. Anyway, uh, yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you are excited for Avatar, let me know in the comments below. If you like Avatar 2 and want to argue with me why it's good, do that too. That would be epic. I like arguing about it. Uh, they ruined Natiri, my queen. She was so bad in that movie. Anyway, see you later. Bye-bye.